NCIS is one of the longest-running procedural dramas on television, and for good reason. Over the years, the cast lineup has had multiple changes, though not necessarily for the better, and fans have been crossing fingers and praying to see a few return in season 20. For some characters, departures are permanent, having either been killed off on screen or their actors have passed on. However, there are a few that simply walked away from the job, leaving them a perfect window to return, even if it's just a quick visit. Here are 10 characters. First, M. Allison Hart and Dr. Rachel Cranston. While not holding the title of fan favorite, defense attorney M. Allison Hart vanished in a way that left a part of Gibbs' past open-ended. When last seen, Hart had intercepted the cold case report written by Abby regarding Gibbs' murder of Pedro Hernandez, and she tells Gibbs she believes that she could beat the murder charge. Then she resigns, hiding the report. It's given as read that Hart mails the report back to director Vance sometime after Alejandro Rivera is arrested, but the story just never feels complete. Despite Vance hiding the report in evidence, Gibbs is still guilty of murder, and Hart is still the best defense attorney. Gibbs being acquitted of murder in the eyes of the law would make a perfect closure to his story. It is a sad fact that Caitlin Todd can never come back to the team. However, her memory lives on, not just in the team, but in her sister, Rachel. Dr. Cranston was brought in to perform long overdue mandatory psych evaluations on Gibbs' team. Using her skills, she was able to get each member of Team Gibbs to open up about past traumas, with all of them sharing connections to the late Agent Todd. The team was later cleared for duty and Cranston's relation to Kate was revealed. The NCIS team still has a regular therapist on call. However, bringing back Dr. Kate's sister, as Tony affectionately calls her, would bring the story full circle. Next is Dr. Jacqueline Jack Sloan and Eleanor Bishop. Jack joined the team as a criminal profile as well as an on-site therapist. A former Army lieutenant, she had been a prisoner of war and suffered great trauma, leading Jack to become an incredible reader of people. She bonded with the team quickly, breaking down walls and providing great insight into their personalities. Jack left the team for identical reasons to Gibbs during his first attempt at retirement. She believed that her country was failing to provide promised protection to its allies and felt she could do more good if she stayed in Afghanistan rather than return home with Gibbs. Seeing Jack in her element now would be much more satisfying than the long-awaited kiss Gibbs left her with. Sometime after the departure of Agent David, NRI analyst Eleanor Bishop brought in a quirky kick to Team Gibbs. Her compulsive need to snack as she analyzed data and her naivete when being hazed by Dinozo and McGee made for much-needed comic relief. However, the more she saw on the job, the darker Ellie's personality became. It was Ellie who first discovered that Ziva was still alive. At the behest of the former Mossad officer, Ellie kept this a secret as it gnawed at her. Her willingness to do what was needed led former CIA trainer Adette Malone to recruit her for a secret mission. It is not revealed what this secret mission is. All that is known is that Ellie is now a fugitive from the NRA with only Torres knowing of her affiliation with Odette. A reunion between Torres and Bishop could potentially leave them having to choose between each other and their jobs. Let's now move on to Anthony Dinozo Sr. and Ziva David. Father of former agent Tony Dinozo, Anthony Sr. was both a help and a hindrance to the team. He was something of a con man, though his charm was such that Team Gibbs tended to overlook his shortfalls. His son saw right through it, of course, but Sr. always proved his love for his son at every turn. Sr. is last seen helping Dr. Jimmy Palmer clear his father-in-law for murder and is last heard being in Paris with his son and granddaughter. With the knowledge that Ziva is alive and the family back together, it would be a welcome reprieve to have Sr. make a visit or two to the remaining NCIS family. Ziva was a tragic character from day one. Half-sister to Hamas terrorist Ari Haswari, Ziva spent her first appearance proving Ari was innocent of Kate's murder and sneaking him out of the U.S. and back to Israel. She eventually sees the truth and puts an end to her brother before he can end Gibbs. She went from the Mossad liaison to NCIS agent and American citizen before returning to Israel and nearly dying. Recently, it was discovered that Ziva was alive, and after a quick revenge scheme, was reunited with Tony and their daughter in Paris. This could open the door to Ziva perhaps bringing Tali for a play date with McGee's twins. Not every cameo needs to be cleverly tied to a case, after all. Moving on, we have Tony Dinozo and Abigail Shuto. Every good team needs its clown, and Anthony Dinozo Jr. was proudly it. He was a shameless flirt, practical joker, and yet an incredibly competent investigator. Tony had a movie quote ready for any occasion and unwavering loyalty to his team. He left NCIS shortly after the presumed death of Ziva in order to care for 
for his daughter Tolly. While McGee has kept regular contact with Tony since his departure, it leaves much to be desired of a true Tony appearance. He loved being an investigator, and even if he doesn't rejoin NCIS, he can always take a page from Fornell's book and become a private investigator. Abby's energy in the forensic lab is matched by her intelligence when she's helping the team bring down criminals. She's had her fair share of life-threatening scares and lost many friends along the way, but she always came back with a smile and gothic charm. She wrote the forensic report that could one day doom Leroy Jethro Gibbs. Abby left NCIS following the death of MI6 liaison Clayton Reeves, moving to London to start a charity in his name. However, her college friend Carol Wilson still makes appearances, so it's not too far out of the scope of possibilities that the team may one day have to call upon Abby for her special knowledge of NCIS cold cases. Finally, Leroy Jethro Gibbs and Mike Frank's ghost. Gibbs has been a staple in NCIS from the very beginning. As special agent in charge, Gibbs led the team case after case, all while shouldering a personal burden that he believed was best kept to himself. His tendency to honor yet fight authority showed that he always has his team's best interest in mind. Gibbs left NCIS early in season 19, staying behind in Alaska, citing it was the happiest he had been in a long time. While seeing Gibbs happy hits the feelings pretty hard, his story is still incomplete. He is still guilty of at least two murders, and he is still the best agent NCIS has ever had. Even if a character has been killed off, there is a special way that they can make an appearance on the show at least once more. Characters, especially Gibbs, have had encounters with ghosts, appearing during pivotal moments in the story. Most prominently, former NIS special agent Mike Franks has appeared as a ghostly mentor to Gibbs on many occasions. Even if Gibbs never returns to the office, Franks was still looked up to by other members of the NCIS family, including McGee and Palmer. Even Ducky and Vance were fond of him despite his tendency to play fast and loose with the rules. When one of the crew wonders, what would Gibbs do? It would be heartwarmingly funny to see Franks step in from the great beyond to give them a clue while calling all of them Proby. As a bonus, why Michael Weatherly's Tony Dinozo left NCIS. Dedicated viewers of long-running hit CBS procedural NCIS were saddened by season 13's departure of Michael Weatherly, who played Tony Dinozo from the beginning. As major a character as Weatherly's Tom Dinozo was on NCIS, any long-running show is likely to experience some cast upheaval over time. By the time Weatherly took his leave from NCIS after season 13, Ziva herself had already left the cast. Breaking up a couple, fans had come to love. Losing the dynamic between Tony and Ziva was a big reason Weatherly opted to exit, as he missed the on-screen chemistry between the two characters and working with DePablo. Beyond that, Weatherly had grown a bit bored with playing his NCIS role after 13 years and found himself itching to pursue other projects. When discussing the decision via TV Insider, Weatherly likened the feeling to staying at a party too long. To those on the outside looking in, it may seem hard to sympathize with someone growing tired of starring on a hit TV show, such as Mark Harmon did ahead of NCIS season 19. Yet, Weatherly is far from the first actor to get sick of playing the same character over the course of a long franchise, and he won't be the last. Weatherly certainly was not kidding about wanting to do something new, though as he very quickly moved on to play the lead in CBS's hit legal drama, Bull. Well guys, that is all the time we have for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Comment below who you would like to see return the most.